Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. I hope you're feeling great today. Today our quote of the day is, when you're committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results by Ken Blanchard. You must see results. All too often we get caught up with what we are doing, that we are led to believe that these things are leading us towards our goals. But when we take a closer look at our daily habits, we see that we are not really moving in the right direction towards making our dreams come true. If you do not see any advancement within two to three years of you following a specific pursuit with specific habits, or you see, of course, negative results, then the actions that you are taking are not beneficial for you and they must be changed. I know this may sound completely obvious, but how many of us are living our lives as if we are blindfolded? How many of us do not notice that our daily rituals and habits are the ones slowly moving us in the wrong direction without us even noticing? When we take notice, we can course correct, but when we are blinded, we do not notice until it may be too late. The reason for this is that the effects take time. If we were to get a heart attack immediately after consuming bacon and eggs, then we would never do it again. And if our teeth would rot immediately after eating sugar-rich foods and not flossing or brushing our teeth, then we would avoid sugar-rich foods and always floss and brush our teeth, even several times a day. But the effects of our actions take time to build up. You must see positive results from your actions two to three years after starting or else you should take make serious thought on what needs to be changed. There may be no difference between a person eating an apple a day and a person eating a Snickers bar a day, even after one or even two years. But if you examine the appearance and health of these people after three years, they will be worlds apart. It is like the effect of compounding interest on your money. It works subtly at first, but later on, the numbers explode. Bad habits have subtle consequences at first, but the consequences explode after two to three years. Even if you are enjoying your life now, you must think whether this is a result of your past efforts or will your past habits soon catch up on you and ruin your happiness and come and haunt you. <laughs> what are your vices? What are your bad habits? Get acquainted with them consciously so that you can remove them and improve your life in all areas. Get familiar with your habits and see how much time you really spend on moving yourself closer to your dreams and goals. Are your daily habits benefiting you in the long run? What will be the consequences to your health, your love life, and your career, and your finances if you keep doing the things that you are currently doing right now? Results are the name of the game, and numbers will tell you what is really going on. You want to check your numbers. Check your debits, check your weight, check your blood test results, the number of dates that you go out with, uh, on your, with your spouse, the number of drinks that you drink, the number of cigarettes or, or pipes that you smoke, your time wasted in front of the television. Check your health relationship and financial numbers with the same rigor that you want to check the number of likes on your posts. Jesus in the fig tree parable cursed the tree that had only leaves and no fruit. When there are no results, the effort you put in and the habits you took were not productive to, the, to form the right path to your success. Something needs to change your habits need to be changed, especially those unnoticeable habits that are so ingrained in your life that you pay no attention to them. The best way to ensure that you do have the results that you want and won't look back three years down the line and see that your life has moved in the wrong direction is to track your habits. Take a small notepad with you wherever you go for the next week. If you are interested in your health and track everything you eat and drink for the next week, and also the time, the time of day that you eat and drink. Also track the number of steps you are making throughout the day uh, through a health app and monitor your workouts and also the amount of hours that you sleep through a sleep tra 
tracking out apps such as uh, Sleep Cycle for one week. Look at the content of your notes after one week and you will find your soft spots. Look at the times when you eat, when you go to sleep, how many steps do you make a day and how many workouts a week and what are you eating. If you are interested in your finances, then write down in a small notebook everything that you spent your money on for a whole week, along with the time of day that you spend the money. Then check your notes for soft spots and problematic hours during the day for wasteful spending. See where your habits are leading you away from financial freedom. Do the same for your career. How many hours a day are you spending on education and work towards your career goals? How many times a day or a week are you solely focused on your career goals? How many hours a day? In your relationships, how, many, how much time are you spending with your, your, uh, your spouse or your friend? How many times do you go out on a date, just the two of you? Once you take a serious look at your notes, you will see where your problems lie and what needs to be changed in order to get the results that you desire in a few months or a few years' time. The most important thing is to do the work that will eventually bring you to where you desire to be. Time is less important because just as it takes time to move a merry-go-round, at first, once you get it moving, you can hop on and enjoy the ride. And once it's moving, it's also easier to keep up the momentum. The most important thing is to take the right actions. Be they really small actions in the right direction, if done day in, day out, they will have a positive effect. If they are good habits, then the results will be good in the long run. As an example, if you took a map and looked at a certain road that leads to a certain destination that you want to reach, then eventually, if you go down that road, you will reach your destination. The time that it takes to get there is less important. You just need to make sure that you're treading on the right road that leads to your desired destination. Helping you know where you want to go was part of the subject of many past videos that I made. This video is uh, helping you to get clear on where you currently are so that you will know what you have to do to get to where you want to be. After you truthfully acknowledge where you currently are and take responsibility for where you currently are in your life and where your current habits are leading you, then you will only then have a choice of whether you want to keep going down the same path with these current habits or change the path through changing your habits towards your goals so that you will become happy and fulfilled. Winston Churchill said, however beautiful the strategy, you should occasionally look at the results. Always examine where your strategy is really taking you with the knowledge and evidence that you have gathered. Know that your future is your choice. When you follow with the right habits, success will be yours to keep. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, are my habits ones that will surely support my goals? Use the method I recommended in this video with a notepad. To find out if your habits for your current most important areas of your life are the ones that will eventually, with persistence, lead you to your success or to your failure. Due diligence is crucial for your success. As usual, I recommend writing this question in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can make sure that you're in line with your goals and taking the right steps towards reaching them in the best possible way. So to finish off, the affirmation of the day is my habits lead to my dreams one step at a time. My habits lead to my dreams one step at a time. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help you move your health and wellness to the best place possible for you. Thank you very much for joining me.